When drawing detailed smaller paths, try zooming in first. Dude, so like the website I use gives me like random tips and whatnot. <clears throat> and like once in a while it will give me like a joke you tip. One of them was like, if you wear a fedora, your map making Not skills will be better. I, be, but I'm still the fastest gun in the I don't know West. why it had to tell me that. I feel I felt so uncomfortable. Are you lot ready for some bloodshed? I think uh, it might have been written by some like Reddit fedora wearer. <sighs> Maybe I just need more hills. <laughs> Fuck. I think hills look like pimples, but whatever, I guess it's normal. I really do though, man. It just doesn't look right. It could be the map No, but it's not, because I saw other people use the same website and they make beautiful hills. They're very, they're very nice. I saw a map of Scotland, and it's like all the only hills. Yeah, I mean certain areas just have like lots of terrain for that. Well, area. I want if I want to mimic something like that, then maybe I should mimic the terrain. I don't like the hills because it makes it look. For a whirlpool. Cool. Yeah, wow. Maybe uh, geography is boring. Don't make it too much about the individual points of interest. Maybe make it somewhat about the way they blend together. I already did that though. Okay. Well, that's good. That means that you're already getting part of it. Like, I think, okay, I think it already blends well. Is the, um, the, like, the problem is that, like, well, why would you want to go somewhere else if gear is 90 cooler than other miles? Well, I have a story driven motive. I mean, I don't know. I think Kevin's backstory will not be about exploring. Um, yours is definitely not. Yours is sort of. About oh, mine. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, just you get to choose. You don't. Uh, what do you mean? I don't write it for you. You write your own backstory, and then I I write your campaign. So you tell me your backstory, and then I I write what happens like why, when you play. So if you want a backstory in exploring, then you can have one. Yeah. This looks like a team that gets into trouble. Man, I already did a sequoia biome. Can I get some onions? Game on. 
I already have like you don't see it yet, Diego, but I already have like an area that's just ruins. Well, even uh, when it comes to like ruins and stuff, you know, I think an important uh, thing about them is not just like. <sighs> I think ruins can be kind of boring sometimes, although I enjoy them as a concept, because I like history and the ruins are kind of like a glimpse into history. history. Um, but you can do ruins in interesting ways if you think that they're boring, you know, like, uh, a good example would oh, be I something think like- I ruins are cool, but I'm saying I've already done the ruins, so like, now I ran out of like terrain or like interesting stuff. I was thinking I mean, about you could honestly look up my city. Do it. I mean, I don't know, most of my ideas are really just gonna stem from fiction that I've seen. You know, media and, and, and well, the fictional media that I've seen. Uh, it just comes, to, it, it takes serious creative talent to be able to come up with an entirely new thing on your own. It's like coming up with a new color. You know? I mean, I already have one biome in mind that's new. But, but it's in the well, ice you space. Anything, you, know? you could do a fucking steampunk city in the sky, you know? If you want to have fucking the flintlock pistols, you can have them originate from like this secretive the steampunk city that I like resides as like a floating fortress. I know where you know? flintlock pistols come from. I told you the backstory and okay. I already made okay. it. That's fine. You could do something else like that. I don't fucking know where... Uh... I don't know. Uh... No, I need an area that's cool, but feels like a starting area. You know what I mean? So like... I can't... I don't want to have blue trees, right? Because the blue trees are going to be in an area when you're more like more well informed about the world and like it's like and it's very far away from the starting point right so you would have to know a lot about the world while like you you would have already learned a, a lot about the world while getting there so that when you get there it feels good you know yeah that's fair i think that's a good way to do it yeah but then i need a new area I need a new area that's like so very weird. down to earth, very nature and nature, very nature like. You could do an area that's entirely nature themed, like a like a society or a people, small group of people that are all based around oh, like their I'm relationship about with a people. Uh, uh, I mean, if you want like a naturey biome, then you. Would Probably have to rely on something that actually contains nature in the real world, considering that's like all of our experiences with it, unless you can come up with something entirely on your own. That's what I would do, because I could even come up with Maybe you could make a city that's just like filled with moss and like green and leaves. It's just like a leafy city. Oh, no, not. I don't need cities. I can do cities cool on my own. I already can do that. I need. He doesn't want terrain. cities. He wants like. Yeah, he wants like terrain and like environments. Why are you still green? I well, need then... biomes. That's the word I'm looking for. All biomes in the world. <laughs> well, you know, some some fictional stories have their own uh, biomes. That is kind of something you can do. I don't want to do a product. Oh, wait a minute. That's why I suggested something like Atlantis. Well, I was thinking about a less, like, Less severe version of Atlantis. Like, what? like everyone, like um, like everyone's houses are on stilts. Oh no, that's more like a swamp though. <laughs> you know how like in like swamp Florida, all the houses have like bloody. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah. Mm, Coral Highland works. Yeah. Dude, that's Maybe an example of a fictional biome they came up with, you know? A place that, on top of a mountain? Uh, I, I'm looking at the, the avatar thing. I, I like the concept of like a 
dark purple jungle, but it's like bioluminescent. Yeah, it's really fucking cool because it's like during the day it's normal. It's a starting location. That's the problem. No, no, probably not. Do you want the basic starting location or you want a unique? I want a unique, unique nature light near to the starting location area. Uh... So right, so I made one where it's like there's um. There's like the bright maple birch, and then I made a, a dark red, uh, dark oak forest. Something like that. That's like something, uh... I mean, it's like not completely... It's just different colors, but it's like a little bit original. But now... Now I want to be like super original. Let's look at the trees. Maybe I can get some trees. Cemetery of Ash. The Cemetery of Ash looks like normal terrain, but it's actually completely new. Hmm. I got it. Oh my god, I got it. I'm gonna do I mean, like. To be honest, you can literally just think of an existing biome and twist it ever so slightly, right? That's what all these are. The Coral Highlands is a fucking. It's a coral reef of outside of water, right? That's what makes it fucking cool. Instead of being a coral reef surrounded by the water, it's a coral reef surrounded by air. You know? Uh, what was the other one I was thinking of? Um, yeah, Cemetery of Ash is. Or like any of the ashy, ashen areas from uh, yeah, it's just Dark Souls. It's like a desert. Yeah, it's like a, like a sandy desert replaced with ash. And it fits with like the general themes of like fire and like, all that, you know? Or, like, the fire motif in Dark Souls. Stuff like that. Dude, you could do some sort of like fucking yeah, but I don't like have cosmos a... nebula space thing. Uh, okay, you know? I would love that, but that cannot be in a that starting be really location. <laughs> you want a unique starting location? Actually, yeah. that's not true. Yeah. I mean, no, you just have to displace the party. I already, I already have plans for like high level content near the starting area. I love games of me personally, I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't okay, I don't like it when it's spam, you know? Like maybe one or two things. But no, you know what I like? I like items with like high level lore. You know what I mean? Like the lore has context for like something you don't even know about. I love shit like that. Well, that's like, uh, that's what I meant by show don't tell, you know? Like, if, if rather than hearing, like, well, you know, okay. oh, this, this world was forged by, you know, blah, 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 this big event happened, I, blah, did blah, I tell blah. you, did I tell you what the beginning of the game is gonna start like? I did, right? I forgot. I'm pretty sure you did. Okay, so... The, uh, the, can I tell you? Do you care? I don't know how much... Uh, I think you'll know, you will know beforehand. Sure. Thing. So, are your research journey to the starting location? I don't have a name yet. <laughs> like one night you're sleeping with are you. <laughs> no, no. Same with food. Also, I might do the. You, you're not out on guard, by the way. So like, what, is Kevin gonna be from the same place that I'm from? Uh, maybe. Then I imagine it would be something like said you about like gender. Um. Well, okay, so. Not really. I, I mean, if he's doing like a female-only Valkyrie thing, I do imagine that would. Well, be he he um. Too, so. How's it called? You start off separated, but like within the school system, you will meet at some point. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, oh different God. light paths, you know? I could, I could just do the... Well, okay, I don't like the concept of houses in Harry Potter, and I, I think they're done poorly by J.K. Rowling, but... Uh, like, medieval houses? I was thinking, like... I was just gonna they're do like the 40, British uh, 40K houses, has, has houses. Oh, what? 40k has, like, the certain sections. Uh, like, the Space Marine chapter? Uh, in... Oh my God, who is it? There's one for the orphans, there's one for the... Oh... 
There's one for the psychers. There's one for the like that. So that's just like, yeah, that's like different stuff. Yeah, I guess right. That system exists, but like at the end of the day, they probably meet each other. I think. Well, if they don't, they you will be. I plan on having okay. you as me. Cool. Yeah. Um. And like, you're not always at war, you know. So right now, you're at the point of you if in your life where you're like, oh, I can kind of do whatever I want. Uh, You're just kind of chilling. I don't. You you can decide your own motivations, right? So, um, anyway, the point is the point. Is, the point. Is, uh, one night you're sleeping, right? And then like, uh, you uh, you wake up in the middle of the night and you see like this white pinkish beam, right, just slashing through the sky. And you're like, oh, I, I wonder what that is, right? And uh, you will learn that uh, it's coming from a place where there's like, um, there's a there's a waterfall and uh, there are lily pads in the pond and there's a one specific lily pad that has a pink lotus and that's where the light is coming from. That is an example of like a high level area, lore wise. Okay, I see the appeal. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be interesting. So, I mean, I guess I could do... The other problem is... Where would I put it? In the low-level area. Because, so then, the, the, that's the other problem, right? You're like, oh, it's not about the if an individual POIs, it's also how they mix. Well, it would be rather, really jarring if this really bright green forest just turns purple all of a sudden. These purple clouds. That does sound unique, though, and I like that. Yeah, that is a good idea. And I also wanted purple trees, so... Do it. Ooh, and I know what I could put there. <laughs> I just came up with this lore on the spot. There's like, um... So, like... In, in this purple forest, there's going to be a cliff, right? Mm. In, on the cliff, in, like, uh, on the rocky, the, how do I call it? The lateral side of the cliff? Mm -hmm. Right? There's going to be a door, and everyone's like, what the fuck? There's a door here, and nobody has ever been able to open the door. And then they're like, okay, why don't we try digging around it? You cannot, it cannot be, like, the terrain around it can't be harmed. I feel like if somebody had a ladder, they could solve this issue pretty easily. No, no, no. Or like no. a rope. The door... The door goes into the cliff. You know what I mean? Right, it's like... But it's like on the face of the cliff that faces, like, the area below it, right? But, like, yes. high up? Yes, yes, yes. No, so no, it's, it's on the bottom. Like rope. Oh. The, no, the problem... See, no, the problem isn't traversing the cliff. Everybody can do that. The problem is opening the door. Nobody can open the door. Actually, I lied to you. I lied to you. No, no, no. So people have dug around the door, right? Do you know what happens? Behind the door, there is nothing. Right? They they carve it out. Like, like they try around the frame and everything, right? But the door is shut. They can't open the door. And they can't move the door frame. And nobody knows why the door is there. One last diagnostics check couldn't hurt. And so you're... And then, well... You can choose whether or not you're interested by the door. You can go visit the door. But, um... Cool. Yeah, we'll put that in the purpley forest. Cool. We can have a little stand where it's like this guy is like, oh, uh, I bet you, I bet you one dollar that uh, you can't open this door, and then you get ego check. You're like, oh, I mean, really? I can open this door. I mean, you keep spending money, money, try to open the door, and it can't open. Or maybe it does. Whoa. See, see, 
I like stuff like that. You know what I mean? Hmm. Or like random oh, shit. Kind of like the. Oh, it adds like interesting parts to the world. You didn't finish Sekiro, right? No. I mean, I know that. I'm gonna come over there the end of the areas. Well, which one? I know the one where, like, is that the one with the big white fish in the sky? Yeah. yeah. It's like a sky uh, palace with like water everywhere, and it's like I would it's, like, like to do rooted in like Japanese like mythology and stuff, you know. I would do a cloud thing, but like I don't like a. Uh... Round number. Stay sharp. There aren't good tools. Like there aren't good pictures, so I'd have to go out of my way to go find transparent pictures to do that. Actually, no, that would be really easy. They're pushing it ahead. But then, but I do this other thing. I don't like adding things just because they're cool. You know, I I want them to have a purpose, or else it just feels like fan service. There's like. Not what I want to do for like a lot of the game. I mean, it depends. You can add things because you think they're cool. Like, like I'm not doing vampires in the snow just because I think it's cool. It's because like they actually have a lore reason I want to implement that some point. Like, so does everybody. But like, I think on a surface level, some of the stuff should seem interesting to people purely based off of its visual design. That's kind yes. of the entire reason why art design is an important aspect of, like, any media, you know? So that's why, like, it matters when, like, you need a cool area like Dark Souls and you want it to not only be visually impressive off the bat, but you want it to be, like, dripping with, like, lore and backstory and interesting things like that. The first half of High Wall of Lothric is not as interesting as the bottom half. Stick with the robot. Yeah, but like the immediate sight of An Orlando is cool because it's just visually impressive, and then it's. Why are you seeing me fucking miss? You know? I, already, I already did that by oh. That's fine. I'm just saying that like that's an example of like something that's like cool, you know. Like, and Orlando is made to be cool visually at first when you see it, and then you're like, oh, this is like the fucking land of the gods that doesn't actually exist fucking anymore illusion. properly, and is like an illusion meant to. Dude, you know how fucking perfect it is that An Orlando is being kept up as an illusion to perpetuate the idea of the gods and like representing their like desperate attempts to like cling to what they have in a world where their entire world revolves around a cycle of like life and death where they're desperately clinging to the life to not let that death take over all of them like it's fucking perfect that's why i think that game is so fucking good and it's shit like that and orlando is cool because of the cool stuff like that that's what makes it like rich with lore but also, when the fucking little demon dudes carry you over that mountainside after you kill the fucking iron golem, and you're like, holy shit, that's a really cool city, immediately catches your eye, you know? So you need to mix a book. That's why I think that some things are cool. To not... But then, yeah, I guess by, by your, what you were saying before, you're right. It's not just there because it's cool, it's there because it has a purpose. But, like, having them be cool visually is part, part of the appeal. I'm like Castle Painters. Yes. Castles full of like blood magic using people, but it's also uh, important. So, like, uh, the world of Double kill. One, two, three, four, five. I only have five areas that are cool. 
Six. Six. Uh, I think we're going to. Then again, look at the distribution of stuff like that in Dark Souls, right? Like, Dark Souls 1 has... Uh... It has an Orlando. Very cool. Um... Dark Souls 1? Um, okay, me personally, I don't like Nulando Ruins. I don't like Dragon Valley visually. Well, purely visually. Uh, that area is so uh, shit though, it's like super underdeveloped. Uh, Light Town, yeah, definitely no. Uh, Demon Ruins, no. Lost Isolith, a little bit more than Demon Ruins, I like it more. Um, are you saying aesthetically or design? Yes, aesthetically. Wait, what's the size of the worst fucking designed areas they've ever made in the video? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking hate that area, it's so bad. But, I would say... Oh, the, the room before the first kiln, I love how it looks. Me, personally. The... Oh like, God. when you open, we using all the Lord Vessels to open it up, right. open up the door, yeah, that area is cool. Fuck, I can't remember any of one. Uh, no, not Sense Fortress, I think that shit is so lame. I actually uh, thought that was interesting. Oh, no. Lucky shot. Uh, no. Wait, what is it called? What is what is the first area called? The one with the dragon and such. No, um, not with the dragon. Undead the one before the... Berg and then Perish. Undead Berg and then Undead Perish. The one at the bottom? No. It's not that big. Yeah. Or the depths. The depths is just the sewer to be fair. Kind of boring. But oh no no. no, no Serves its no, purpose. Not, not the depths. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, the the first area, the one with like where the dragon steps on you, and flies away, that area. Yeah, undead bird. I like how that looks. That's very nice. nice. Um, There's actually some pretty like, good music breaking down about how it's like the perfect tutorial area and stuff. The library, I think. Oh my god. The Duke's Arcade. What a great it is pretty aesthetic. Cool. Fucking, it's a oh cool aesthetic, but also the concept of it being designed in a way that like twist around like the, it's kind of like uh, the research hall in Bloodborne. They have like the it's all the same thing, but you have this like a static level design, but then a staircase that changes or lets you access like different stuff. That's pretty uh, cool. But yeah, no, I think it's pretty cool. Thank you. I think the Grand Archives. would have been cooler, and I think it is cool because it's more vertical, but I think my issue with the Grand Archives is that I don't think the, the, the candle will hit any of the enemies in that area. No, three, I think three didn't do a great job. But I do like, um, the area before the Dragon Knight Armor, Dragon Slayer Armor. Lothar Castle. Yeah, I like that yeah. area. Dude, it's like the medieval fantasy castle. It's fucking far. I like. Oh, I don't know. Wait, why, does... why am I saying this? Oh, we were talking about how many how many places are as... like the distribution of this aesthetically pleasing. Right, right. So I wanted to say basically that I think there, are... while there are cool moments like Anor Londo and. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever, there's tons there's of cool areas that are not of... cool, like the depths and uh, Blight Town and whatever, but they serve their purpose, right? I think that those, some of the stuff in Dark Souls also like has, the, they do it in all their fucking games, literally all of their games, it's a very common fucking theme. Um, like the civil is like kind of showing the futility of like an empire and like trying to prolong it since everything is kind of uh, what's what's the what's the term? I should have lost that guess, game, like, but whatever. Transients, I guess. Like everything is like momentary; nothing lasts forever, and like hanging on to the present <laughs> is kind of useless and futile because it's eventually gonna fade away anyway. Um, they do that in Dark Souls One because you have cities that are already built on top of ruins, and they do that in every single game. Dark Souls 1 does it. You have like Yulondo ruins under the other cities. That's literally like a previous empire that they just built their 